Good day to everyone. I'm Matt, Juan Tamad, and welcome to another episode of Farming Made Easy here at Made Farms. Good day to everyone. For today's video, we'll show you our rice straw haul to use a mulch to passively harvest rainwater in our farm. In the Back to Eden film, they use wood chips, but here in the tropics, we don't have enough wood chips. So it's harvest season here for Palai, so we asked the farmers to give us their rice straw. Instead of them burning it and polluting the air, we're using it as mulch and passively harvest rainwater here at the farm. So here is an area in our farm where we applied rice straw mulching. Let us look at the soil here and compare, compare it to an area where there's no rice mulch. So as you can see, the soil here is very dark, very moist, and very soft. So this is just by covering our ground with rice straw. So this is an area where we did not apply rice straw. As you can see, weeds are growing and the soil is very hard. So by simply applying rice straw on your soil, your hard soil becomes moist and soft and you stop all your weeds from growing. So we also use our rice straw in our chicken tractors. So this is a hybrid chicken tractor. We can't move it right now horizontally because we lack space, but we can move it vertically by adding layers of rice straw or mulch. So the chickens process our rice straw for us and they get to forage for the leftover rice or palai in the rice straw. The rice straw also serves as bedding and it also conditions the soil for the next planting season. The chickens are pecking on the leftover palai in the rice straw. So there you have it, using rice straw mulch to passively harvest rainwater in our farm. Again, thank you for watching our videos. To learn more about how we make farming easy here at Made Farms, subscribe to my YouTube channel Madoda or add us on Facebook Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos. I'm trying to farm here. Action start, take 21! Action! Woo! <laughs> okay. Action! Woo! <laughs>